Oh, Chris, so great to have the opportunity to talk with you. How are you today? Likewise. I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Oh, please. Thanks for talking to you. Okay, first of all, I have to start off. I'm talking to you from Toronto, where you have a ton of fans here in Canada. But listen, we get a ton of snow here. I understand this morning you guys were dumped with a bunch of snow. Is this one of your illusions, Chris? I don't want to brag, but but yes, not only does it snow in Vegas, but it snows in my theater every show as well. And I'm not joking when I say that. Yes, I know that. I know that. It's so amazing. I mean, oh, my goodness. I can't even believe the weather you guys are having. But, you know, it, it's crazy. It's crazy what's going on around the world right now. But let's talk about the show. How exciting for you is it to not only bring back the show, but now have your own theater named named after you? It's incredible. I just want to point out that I have a lot of fans in Canada, eh? And I absolutely love Canadians. And I had the pleasure of playing in Windsor. Win Windsor, uh, and, and it was amazing. We sold out 5,000 seats on a Tuesday night. I'm coming back as well. Um, so in May and June, I, I will be there performing again. So uh, very excited about that. But, but my show in Vegas is completely different. It's unlike anything the world of entertainment has ever seen. It's a completely immersive experience, the very first of its kind. Um, it's a visual feast for your senses, more lights, more video, more fire pyrotechnics than any pop star, than, than all seven Cirque shows combined in Vegas. It's crazy. And more illusions, literally over 75 illusions, special effects, visual effects, 3D. Um, I levitate, I fly around, I cut people in half, no boxes, cloths, covers. It's right there, it's 20 years in the making. Finally realized we opened January 19th and it's been absolutely amazing ever since. Yes, I've seen some of the responses online, people who have seen it. I mean, when you get the thumbs up from somebody from KISS, you know you're doing a good job. <laughs> yes, Paul, Paul, Paul Stanley uh, loves the show. He's seen it multiple times, as, as does uh, as Gary Oldman, Oscar winner. Uh, so many people have seen the show. Tonight, uh, I think uh, half of the Backstreet Boys are coming, and then Mario Lopez was just there. So there's always celebrities in the audience every night. It's incredible. <laughs> It is incredible. And, you know, how do you just keep topping yourself? Like, what do you do? You sit down. Like, where does this stuff come from, Chris? Well, I, I wanted to do the show uh, for 20 years, but the technology wasn't available. And in my previous show, I was limited to what I can do. This is me creating, directing, producing my dream. And I spared no expense. Uh, this show, you know, and I don't say this boasting, is the most sophisticated technological show in Las Vegas or the world of entertainment. It's really kind of redefined how we experience theater because we're not watching the show. The audience is immersed. They're in the show. And stuff that's on the video comes to life. So you don't know where that line is blurred, blurred between reality and illusion. And it just kind of harnesses all of this incredible magic and these illusions that we've never seen before with all the support of lights, video, uh, pyrotechnics, incredible sound system that surrounds sound. It's just something that you have to experience in order to appreciate what, it, what it's really about. Yeah, how do you find the balance? Like, it, you know, some people like to just watch close-up magic. You know, I, I, we know what you do, what you do, and it's fantastic, and you do an amazing job at it. But how do you find the balance, like, with the big pyrotechnics and all that kind of stuff, and then just the kind of low-key yep. magic? Well, you know what I mean? It's really important that this show be an emotional roller coaster where you don't know as an audience member where it's going to go, turn, twist, or, or, or uh, drop or flip over. And so this show has me doing a lot of close-up magic. When I'm in the audience with people surrounding me, 360 degrees, doing coins, doing things like bringing four women up randomly every single show and addressing their fears and bringing them to life, or borrowing a cell phone, having a vodka bottle, and trying to take their cell phone and smash it right through the vodka bottle, which I world premiere uh, in the show, which I did on television but never performed live until now at Planet Hollywood, you can see all of these things. Escapes, grand scale illusions, levitation, mentalism, close-up magic, you know, bringing people's fears to life. It, yeah. This show has something in it for everyone. 
You are the coolest guy, honestly. I, I trust me. I, I love your show. I've seen it. It's phenomenal. I just want to take a second to um, just tell you how happy we all are for you that your son is doing so well. He just turned five, and you've just had a new son. You have two boys now. I know I have two boys, so you have a lot of great stuff to looking to look forward to, and and also all your work with pediatric care and and cancer. And you're just such a giving, amazing guy. How has fatherhood changed you as a as a person? Well, the greatest magic of all is a child, you know, and, and one child, unfortunately, every two minutes is diagnosed with cancer, and cancer is the leading cause of death among children by disease. So we need to all stand together shoulder to shoulder and fight this disease. And if you'd like more information on how to donate, which 100% of donations go to research and treatment, I don't take a penny out for any expense of any kind, you can go to chrisangel.com and click on that help button, and you'll learn about a lot about pediatric cancer, which, by the way, we have a documentary coming out this year called 1090 about my son's trials and tribulations and the family so that other families that hear those horrible words, your son or daughter has cancer, know that they're not alone, that they can see what we went through and how we cope with it so that maybe it could help them. That's amazing. Well, thank you. And, and we will take advantage of that here in Canada for sure. But, you know, thank you for all you do and also for, for giving us such great entertainment, Chris. Amazing. We, we'll look forward to seeing you here in Canada. But people who are going to Vegas can see you now at Planet Hollywood. And I know I'll be coming to Vegas, hopefully, and I'm definitely going to get a ticket for this show. I cannot wait I, to see I, it. So thank you. I just, I just wanted ahead. to say thank you to, to everyone in Canada for the love and support. Uh, your country has been so amazing to me and in my career. I'm just grateful and blessed and I just want to say thank you and hopefully I'll see you at Planet Hollywood. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so much and best of luck with the show and, uh, and with the family and it's all good. It's all uphill from here, my thank friend. Thank you. God bless. Okay, you too. Bye-bye.